I'm Jen McGailey, I'm 20 years old and I'm currently studying Biological Natural Sciences um, here at St John's College, Cambridge. So originally I'm from Bury St Edmunds in Suffolk, so fairly local to Cambridge. Um, I've got quite a lot of Irish family, um, but my mum is from Suffolk, so that's how I ended up there. Um, and I went to Bury St Edmunds County Upper School for upper school um, before coming to Cambridge. So I had one teacher at school who had come to Cambridge and he said for sure you should go and have a look around. Um, and I very much chose St John's because of its proximity to the river because I do a lot of kayaking. However, I then came on an open day, had a look around and just discovered that it was amazing. St John's offers accommodation all the way through your degree, even if you're a medic and you're here for absolutely years. Um, there's a great range of accommodation, you've got quite the new Crips buildings, um, you've also got the old courts, um, which I've been in all the way through. I started off in Chapel Court, um, which was kind of a set, so I had one flatmate, got on really well, so now I'm with that same flatmate again, again in the old courts, um, with my room looking right onto the river, which is amazing. Um, there's also, because there's so much variation, whatever your price range, there will be a room um, available in that price range. So I've been kayaking for as long as I can remember, for sure. Um, I think my dad got me into a boat probably before I could even walk. Um, from then I started doing just normal flat water paddles um, before moving on to white water, started competing. Um, and now I'm a member of the GB team and have competed internationally quite a lot as well. So since coming to Cambridge, I haven't done as many competitions, um, but I do have to keep up the training. So I've joined the Cambridge University Canoe Club. Um, it's a really active club, lots of different disciplines, um, including freestyle, which is a discipline I do. So it does mean there'll be weekend trips away so I can go and do the white water, but equally the river is just outside my room, so I can take my kayak out the cupboard and maybe do a flat water session twice during the week, then maybe another two hours on a Saturday, a few hours on Sunday, um, and then gym sessions in between that as well. So it's very easy to keep up. <laughs> so I'd say my other passion in life is definitely plant sciences. Um, I did apply to a few courses just for straight plant sciences, but I found since coming to Cambridge I've been able to specialise very quickly. Um, not entirely sure where the passion sort of arose from, but I've just always loved plants. Um, and now the fact that I can study them in such detail at university has just been amazing. I'm currently doing an ecology project which very nicely brings the kayaking and the plant sciences together. Um, my project brief was just green spaces in Cambridge um, and I already have a big interest in the liverworts and the mosses, so your bryophytes, mainly the little green plants you'll see on walls and things, um, and especially the ones along the river, mainly because they're quite a neglected group of plants anyway, let alone the ones that you wouldn't normally see. So to collect all of my data, I was studying the bryophyte diversity along the walls of the camp. Um, I spent a lot of time in my kayak, paddling up and down, getting strange looks from punters, um, and recording all of my data that way. So the reason that I was looking at these plants in particular, the bryophytes, is because they really helped me see certain features of walls that makes them inhabitable for plants in general. Um, certain features of them, such as their crevices, pH, that kind of thing. Um, and the importance of this going on in the future would be that as we constantly <laughs> urbanise our environment, um, from an ecological engineering point of view, if we can make walls um, better environments for plants, um, we can hopefully give nature a better home um, in our new towns and cities. So St John's as a college has been so supportive of well, all of my interests really, so on the kayaking front, they offer kit grants, um, they'll pay your membership for um, different um, sports societies, so the canoe club. Um, and then on the sort of academic side, there's book grants, uh, they pay for your field trips. Um, they sent me to a plant sciences summer school run by the Gatsby Foundation last summer, um, which again was just a fantastic opportunity. 